day 29 and today is our lower body workout. So it's going to be done with a band, but if you don't have a band, don't worry, you can do it with a bag. And you're going to need um, a chair or a sofa. So the exercises we're going to do today, only four, so nice and time efficient. Um, banded deadlift, a uh, single leg RDL, you can do both legs if you want to. Um, split squat, or alternatively you can do um, a squat and a single leg glute bridge. Again, you can do it with both legs if you want to, wanted to. It's quite high repetition today. The banded deadlift is three sets, eight repetitions, and everything else is three reps, 15 repetitions. So plenty of work. So, first one, banded deadlift. You lay your band on the floor, step onto it, grab the hoops either side, bring your chest up, make sure your back is flat, and stand up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Just like that. And then straight in to the next exercise, or you can have 10, 20, 30 seconds rest and do the next set of the banded deadlifts. Um, single leg RDL. We'll demonstrate from the side. One foot in, pull the tension up the band, get your balance, extend one leg as far as you can backwards. Make sure the knee isn't caving in, isn't caving in. And make sure your shoulders are remaining square and not rotating. So of course, whatever you do on one leg, do on the other. Third exercise is a split squat. <clears throat> so you can either use a chair or a sofa. Place one of your legs onto the sofa, one leg in front of you, and you can go straight down. Make sure you don't bang this knee on the floor. Again, 15 with this leg, swap over, 15 with the other one. The final exercise we're going to do is a single leg glute bridge. So I'd recommend using the sofa for this and not the chair, because the chair can be quite a hard surface to lay your back against. Bring one leg up, it's going to stay in this position, and then you're going to bring your hips up and squeeze your glute at the top. 